Right, um, fish pie. Um, I've got a pound of cod cut into bite-sized pieces. I've got a small tin of uh, Atlantic pink salmon. I've taken the bones out, the big bones. Um, about four ounces of sweet corn. Um, a tablespoonful of ch chopped parsley which I've taken out of the freezer. I always keep parsley in the freezer ready chopped. An ounce of butter and an ounce of plain flour and 400 mils of milk, um, salt and white pepper and two kilos of potatoes in lightly salted water. So I've got a buttered uh, oven proof dish here. So we spread the cod out. And I didn't, I'll add the salmon in once I've made the sauce. Right, I've put the potatoes on to boil. And I'm now going to make the sauce. So I'll put the butter in. Salt and pepper. And the flour. Now the most important thing here is a whisk. As I'm sure you've heard me say many times before. It's the whisk that ensures a lump free sauce. So we want that to sizzle for about half a minute. It's starting to bubble a bit now. So that means it's cooking the flour and that's the most important step. If you miss that step out, your sauce will just taste floury and it won't be nice. So it's important. I'm sure you've heard me say that many times as well, but if you're watching for the first time, it's good to know what's what are the important features of making a sauce. Pop the lid on the potatoes. Yes, it's sizzling away now. Now we can add in the milk. Now all the cooks will tell you to add it gradually, but I don't. I just throw it all in at once. And then just whisk like mad. And it's never lumpy, ever. to bring that to the boil and watch it thicken the sauce is coming to the boil now and it's thickening up at this point if you think it's too thick you can always add more milk You need to use half of the sauce in the pie and the rest of it to, to serve when with the finished meal. So 
so I think that can just take a little bit more milk And as you can see it's perfectly smooth even though we've thrown all the milk in at once. At this point we can add in the parsley. That's your parsley sauce, easy peasy. So just going to scatter over the sweet corn. I've cooked it for a minute in the microwave. to ladle over the hot sauce. Now this will immediately start to cook the cod. salmon in and amongst I've missed a piece of cord there you'll have to excuse me my eyes are very bad I'm waiting for a, a cataract operation so if I miss things, that's the reason why. But nevertheless, the cod will all be well cooked by the time it comes out of the oven. So that just needs a mashed potato big knob of butter and some milk and a fork and just whisk it you can get a good result if you use a, an electric mixer as well mashed potato There's quite too many potatoes really in this pan on top of a pie always go around the edge first because if you put it in the middle it forces the filling up the sides and then you can't cover it properly just another of Sylvia's top tips
want a nice rustic finish so that it will go crispy on top. And as, as always I've got the oven set at 6 to 100 centigrade or 100 Fahrenheit. I'm going to bake this until it's brown on top. It'll probably take about 40 minutes and I shall turn it halfway around, halfway through the cooking. So in it goes. And I'm serving it with half cherry tomatoes which we'll cook at the same time. So the fish pie is cooked now, it's nice and browned and the tomatoes are cooked as well. So I'm going to dish it up now with some parsley sauce. So there it is, beautiful fish pie, pure comfort food and roasted tomatoes. Can't wait to tuck into this, yum yum. See you later, bye.